Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kincaid. You know, I've painted a number of lighthouses over the years, but rarely have I painted real places, places you could actually go visit. Now recently I began what I've called my Lighthouse Landmark Collection. Now this is a series of eight paintings that will capture some of the most scenic and historic lighthouses in our continent. The first painting in my Lighthouse Landmarks collection is the painting I entitled Split Rock Lighthouse. Of course, this captures the famous Split Rock Lighthouse, which is above the waters of Lake Superior in Minnesota. Of course, I wanted to do a coastal scene for my second lighthouse, so I chose the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse as painting number two in the Lighthouse Landmark collection. Now, the interesting thing to me about lighthouses is that not only are they beacons of light on an ocean setting that provides hope to a boat out along the horizon who's trying to find his way safely into the shore, but there is also the sense of symbolism. I've painted many lighthouses over the years, and if you've seen Beacon of Hope or Conquering the Storms or any of my recent lighthouse paintings, you know that I have often believed a lighthouse can actually be a symbol of God's love in our life, the hope that comes as we trust in Him. Of course, this painting depicts the famous Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, which is known as the tallest lighthouse in America. It stands some 225 feet tall and is made of brick. Now, this lighthouse is located on Pamlico Sound in North Carolina, and of course, it is the beacon light that protects people along the Atlantic as they come in to the sound itself. To me, there is nothing more dramatic than a radiant sunset with a lighthouse silhouetted against the sky, and that was the effect I really wanted to capture on this painting. Now, if you look carefully at the painting, you will see some interesting details. Of course, we have the seagulls that seem to be ever present along the coast. And of course, we see the distant sailboat sailing off perhaps onto the horizon or maybe coming back in to the safe harbor of the sound itself. Now, each oil painting that I do is a very complex process of underpainting and overlayering. And this one was no exception. I used acrylic paints to put in the initial tones of the canvas. And then, of course, I added more and more and more layers, and then finally created the oil layer, which creates the top coat of the surface and adds that luminous color you can only get with oil. Of course, each painting I create is, in a way, a messenger of hope. It goes into the family home and becomes part of the family, so to speak. So uh, this is particularly true of the lighthouse subjects. Now, if you've ever been to the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse, then this painting will have extra meaning to you. But even if you've never visited this historic landmark, I think the subject of a light sending its beacon out over the waters is an inspiration to everyone. God bless you, and thanks for sharing the light.